Hey everyone, thank you for joining me on this podcast of the Kung Fu Physicist. I'm very happy to have here with me uh, Grandmaster Lung Ting. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much for uh, agreeing to do this with me. It's it's really an honor. I'm very happy. <laughs> yes. Um, so starting off some little questions. Um, did your, when, when you're in Hong Kong and you're originally growing up, did your uh, parents want you to become a, a Wing Chun master? Actually, my parents, actually when I was young, okay, I was very naughty so much. Actually, my father was a CID, you know, police inspector. Oh, okay. And he yeah. hated me to, to learn Kung Fu or everything. <laughs> wow. But funny thing is, okay, once I, I got beaten up by a lot of uh, schoolboys because I want to help one of my friends. Uh, mm -hmm. in Temple Street. Mm -hmm. And then right after that, one of my uh, Kung Fu uncle, mm -hmm. one, of, one of my uncle, mm -hmm. uh, my mother, my, 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 my mother's in-law, no, uh, what's that? My, Your mother's, uh, I mean, youngest, uh, my, brother. my mother's younger brother. Okay, yes. And uh -huh. he's my uncle. Yes. And uh, he secretly introduced me to learn with uh, the first student of Great Grandma Sen Yi Man, mm -hmm. Leung Sheng. Mm -hmm. So Leung Sheng was my first Sifu oh. at that time. Yeah. But the funny thing is, at, you know, when I started learning Wing Chun, I was uh, only 30 years old. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of questions when I want to ask my Sifu, and my, my Sifu always talk in, you know, Mm -hmm. works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the F word. You are yeah. not going to ask me questions. <laughs> actually, I, I, at that time, you know, I, I, actually, in my deep mind, I hate that when I say, just because I, I, I know nothing, that's why I ask you questions, right? Mm -hmm. But of course, I dare not to, 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 to argue to him. Yeah. So I just practice. Yeah. Until, mm -hmm. you know, uh, so, and also I have, uh, Kung Fu brother, but he actually is much older than I. Mm -hmm. And he always hit me. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Because he hit me very aggressively. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I, I learned how to react. Mm -hmm. So actually, at that time, that, that was why my reaction was really, really good. Because okay. he hit me all the time. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, until, so. Yeah, until uh, one day, mm -hmm. uh, I thought, well, uh, what can I do? I, I, I want to learn with the dummy, but my Sifu did not want to teach me. What can I do? So one of my my Sihen, second mm -hmm. Sihen, his name is Kok Kyung. Mm -hmm. He said, okay, I tried to talk to Great Grandmaster Ye Man. At that time, Great Grandmaster Ye Man has already, has already retired. Mm -hmm. He said, I, I tried to ask him if he, if he would teach us with the dummy form. So that's why I hmm. learned with Quick Grandma Simon directly. Oh wow. That's really cool. Yeah. So we have we have a lot of thirteen year olds in our school in um Chicago. So when you were thirteen, did you think that you were gonna dedicate your life to this or did you think, Oh, I'm just gonna start training a little bit? I just want to I just want to learn fighting. Actually, yeah. I think that I have no idea of uh, developing Wing Chun Kung Fu over the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. So, um, what advice would you give to, like, the kids and teenagers here in the States? Uh, it was like that, okay? When I uh, study, mm -hmm. when I uh, had graduated from, from middle school, mm -hmm. uh, and then I start. Uh, going into Baptist College at that time they call still call mm -hmm. Baptist College. They, yes. they say Baptist. Now they call Baptist University. Okay. And yeah. So I was just a student. Mm -hmm. So at at the same time, because I was a student, uh, there was a I think a sport. I like a, I mean a, a, a sport teacher. A sport yes. teacher. Okay. Yeah. His name is Ho Sao Shun. Mm -hmm. Now he's still alive. Oh wow! Relative in, oh, cool. <laughs> in, in, in TV in TV circles. All right. And at that time, this guy he had hurt his arm. Yeah. And then 
So I have my own traditional Tita Chau or, or we call yeah. the, med the, the, the medicine. The, the, the medicine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I gave him some. Then he he was so surprised <laughs> because no more than no more than a few days he started become very very good. Oh wow! Then, nice. <laughs> then he gave me the chance to to teach in in the, uh, the resting lab. hall. Yeah. Okay. The common room in the in the common room. room. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. The, because the the hall is really big. Yes. So mm -hmm. I so I also ask my, my also ask my old students to to come into but yeah. college to do to study or the, because when I start teaching, wow, so many students. Yeah. Crazy. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I was over there, I saw a lot of people were were testing there in that hall in that big hall. So that must have been really nice. Right. Yeah. Um, let's see. So. The next questions a lot of people always ask me, and I try to answer this question, but uh, you obviously know better. The Wing, Wing Chun in English is spelled with C H U N or T S U N. No. So the is the Ch or Ts in Hong Kong. Chun. Chun. Uh huh. Chun. When Chun. Yeah. This okay. is in Cantonese because you know when we learn when we learn Wing Chun. We were in Hong Kong. Hong Kong speak Hong Kong people speak Cantonese. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when Chun. Yeah. So like the area, it's like a Chim Sa Chui. Is that right? The or how do I how do you say it? The the Chim Sa Choi. Yeah. Chim Sa Choi. Yeah. Chim Sa Choi. This okay. is Cantonese. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> when Chun. Yes. Mm -hmm. So actually, the Chui is uh, when I learn mention the Greek grammar, say you man. Mm -hmm. uh, so he taught me the whole form, mm -hmm. and then later, uh, it was not until one month before his death he taught me the double knife. Mm -hmm. Wow! And then I, I found out actually the, the the concept of the double knife is completely perfect. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's really cool. That's awesome. So, um, what makes? I mean, I really appreciate your style. Like it's. It's so amazing. I love learning it. And, Thank you. And I, I want to keep learning it the rest of my life. It's just so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, but what do you think uh, makes your style so much different than the other Wing Chun styles? Uh, it is like that. Uh, once I, because, you know, at that time I was studying in, in, in the Baptist College, right? Mm -hmm. Like what I said. But, you know, because I have to teach. So mm -hmm. I normally I, I don't I don't I don't talk I don't I don't I didn't take the the lessons at mm -hmm. the afternoon because I have to teach in the afternoon. So mm -hmm. I prefer actually graduation to me was not at that time. Yeah. So uh -huh. but because I was I was I have a lot of free times. So Chris Massey man at that time he was he was he got up very late because he normally he 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 did play mahjong, you know mahjong. Uh -huh. Mahjong, yeah. Play uh -huh. mahjong with yeah. his uh, students until uh -huh. early morning. Then he he went to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why he got up very early, very 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 late. It was until the afternoon. He all of course of course at that time we did not have mobile phone, right? Yeah. <laughs> not even have any mobile phone. So he always call, call to my house, call to my 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 mom's house. My my father, my parents' house, mm -hmm. and and is little ten there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he uh -huh. at home or what? So that's why mm -hmm. I I normally I just I just call because I I knew his character. So that's why I always call back home. Hey, the great grandma see you man call me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I <laughs> then I dial to his his home and then hey. Si Kong, yeah. <laughs> how are you? Can we, uh, we go out to Yam Cha? <laughs> that, that's why I always went out to Yam Cha with him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at first, I want to ask him some serious question. And he stopped mm -hmm. answering me. And yeah. then later I found out, okay. Then I, I, I pay another trick to him. <laughs> then I always made fun with him. Hey, Si Kong, 
some people said that you were very stupid. Or blah, 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 or just something <laughs> like that. Hey, she goes, some people said that you were, were you, you, you did not want to, uh, you, you, you did not want to answer people's question and, and because, uh, people will hit you, 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 you just sit back, right? Oh, this is idiotic. Of course. <laughs> then, then he, then he answered me. <laughs> because he wants to argue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, of course, then I, I found out a lot of questions. Mm hmm. I have a lot of under because okay. of these kind of funny jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, re I really appreciate your um, your understanding of of the system. It's just it's yes. really really cool. This is yes. really awesome. Um, so on the subject of uh, Yipman, there's a lot of uh, Yipman movies yes. coming out. When is the Lung Ting movie gonna come out? Oh, I don't want to die too early. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the Yip Man yeah. film were not completely true. Yeah, there's a lot Even, of you know, there's a lot actually, of really strange things Man in the was, movies. Was such a short guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he's a very uh, humorous. Yes, mm -hmm. very humorous guy. Yeah, and very but very good fighter. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is why. Yeah, but in the Yip Man movie, they're completely they're, they're completely different. Yeah, so right? so he didn't uh, backflip over tables no. and uh, <laughs> no. Um, catch the what did he he cut he caught the wine and didn't let it spill and all this stuff uh -huh. and like like the uh, opera you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, yeah so uh, what would you like to see in in Wing Chun in the movies like if Wing Chun is put in movies what would you like to see in in the Wing Chun movies I have no idea yeah no idea. <laughs> Like, uh, would you like it a lot of action packed? Would you no, like? You would what, you like to see a movie that's a drama the is, or like okay. a comedy? Comedy is better. But anyway, yeah. I tell you what: the Wing Chun, the Wing Chun techniques are completely different. Yeah. Because we normally we don't wait for people to attack us. Mm -hmm. We, the best Wing Chun technique is we attack first, mm -hmm. and the most important is we attack the most fatal position of our enemy. Mm -hmm. Or, but. Other than that, okay, we better be friends with them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this, like what Kukra Masih said, mm -hmm. to make friends is the best way to destroy your enemy. Yeah. You want to destroy your enemy, you make friends with them. Yeah, so so you, don't, you, don't have, you, you don't have enemy anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that was what Kukra Masih said. It's, it's very wise, very yeah, wise. Very, very wise. <laughs> so, very um, I only have one last question topic will go on and then we'll wrap up uh so you said that grandmaster yip man changed his teaching over the years how do you, how do you feel your teaching has evolved no uh before the wooden the wooden dummy was said that we have one oh movement mm -hmm. but when grandmaster man taught me he said no it's not one oh eight, it's one one six movement mm -hmm. and then later he taught me the last last session of of wooden dummy have 16 kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Much more than that. Wow. <laughs> yes. Very cool. Yeah. And also, mm -hmm. the funny thing is, okay, one month before his death, he touched me the pacham tung, the mm -hmm. double knife. The double mm -hmm. knife was to attack the enemy, mm -hmm. to kill first. Yeah. Like what he said, okay, if you have to use double knife, that means if you don't kill your enemy, your enemy will kill you. Yeah. So this is very important. Yeah, they seem. So, but the but the most important is make friends with your enemy, so you destroy your enemy already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the message said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is there is there anything you emphasize now more days than when you started teaching at, at to Baptist destroy College? our enemy is to make friends with them. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very and also, good. you know, uh, be nice to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, if you. And if, if possible, we would like to make everybody happy, especially mm -hmm. for the poor guys. Mm -hmm. If we have money, we just pay. We just pay some of them, mm -hmm. pay some some money to them, and let them make them happy. Mm -hmm. Of course, if they don't work, we don't we don't give them money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so very much. Thank Sigon. you very much. Yes, thank you so much for doing this with me. Um, yeah, so that's the end of our episode today. Again, sure. thank you for joining me, and thank you, Sifu Angus, for being here to uh, to thank help you out. Having me, thank yes. you. Yes, all right.
Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Great. Yeah. Thanks a lot.